Hello. Welcome back. Oh, sorry, starting a bit late there. Got held up. But we're here now. How are you doing? Welcome. Whew. Um, where are we at? We're doing Battle Brothers, aren't we? We're on week three. For anyone who um, has missed the first few, don't worry. We're in a pretty good spot to jump in, actually. If you look at this... We've made friends with a lot of the little villages in the local area. But we've only just become famous enough to do missions for the big, like, noble houses. So if we zoom out, we've been doing the rounds here in the south desert for all these blue and white towns. So we've just been doing that, that circuit, really. We could start heading north to find brave new worlds. Because we've come to this big citadel... And there's no bloody missions for us here. Which is a bit disappointing. You can get a boat. Find brave new lands. How you guys doing? Um, oh, we already had some people subscribe. Thank you very much. Ex Libris has chumped me up. Thank you very much. And uh, Black Drop also resubscribed. Thank you, Black Drop. And they say, Ben, I can't watch today's stream since I'm catching up on the third stream. But I wanted to drop a sub to show my support. Well, thank you very much. We'll see if we can get you in. And then Infidel Tech as well says, Blood and gore, but don't hurt the armor. Oh my god, that is very important. Don't Never hurt the armor. Because if you can... Um, if you can kill the meat, but save the metal, that's how you make money in this game. It's just like Battle Tech, really, when you think about it. Low tech Battle Tech. Uh, is this a normal playthrough? It is, yeah. We're not using any mods play normal playthrough. What day are we on actually? What does it say? Day 40. I can't remember what point the crisis kicks in. It's been a really long time since I've played. Um, but anyway, we got we got a good crew. We got 12 guys. We did lose a couple of excellent guys last week. But we've got some great gear. We got Gamer on live. We got Sir Sven, both with long swords. We've got Rusty Tuna Can holding the center with a flail. Rufus the Hairy's still here. This is Lokvik the Black Cat with this brand new amazing mace we found. And then a new rookie, Thor 2, is here. Then in the back line we've got Jarl Lewis, who's brand new. Uh, Neural Quartz, who's starting to level up now. Ball of String is our banner boy. Diddy David, he's pretty new. Business Goose, who's an old hand but has a broken knee. So our bottom part of the line is going to be moving pretty slowly. Especially because also Thor 2 has a maimed foot. So we're going to have to pivot from top down. And then lastly we've got Imperator Benny with the cursed physician's mask. We'll see, everyone who's worn it so far has died a gruesome death. We'll see, uh, we'll see if that curse lives on. So the general strategy is front line of shields. We're going to throw some axes as well with a couple of them. But generally, hold the line with the front line of shields. Swing the top flank with two long swords. Um, and then in the back row, we've got pikes, banner. And then these crossbowmen have also got pikes that they can swap to once the enemy gets in close. And then a long axe. Uh, is there a chance to be a member of your company? Yeah, anyone who subscribes or donates goes onto a list. And when we get a new guy, uh, we spin the wheel and we select a name from one of those people as a little thank you for everyone who supports the stream. Have they all been decapitated? Uh, I'm not sure. If you get decapitated, does the helmet survive? I'm not sure how it works. Oh, and um, Yarl Lewis also donated. I missed that. Thank you very much. And they say, Bon, I'm not sure if I'm in or not, but give me the worst chump we have. I have another pick of my marine. I did on a custom chapter master I showed a few weeks back. Okay, let's, let's have a look at... Pikachu. You are already in, Lewis. We don't need to um, give you a new guy. You're still alive. You're one of our new rookies. You came in at the end of last week. Uh, just grab that link. Pop it in here. And boop. Oh, wow. He looks like a... Oh, it's the Warhammer Plus guy. He looks vaguely like a Night Lord. Nice. Cool, man. Thank you for sharing. 
you are in the game. Where are you? You are this guy holding the top of the second line. You've only been in one battle, but you are strong and determined. Now we're actually allowed to take two more guys than normal. So we're going to recruit a couple of new guys, put them on the front line. Oh, well, we were going to recruit a couple of guys, but they're actually all really expensive here. And we just want a couple of chunks. because We're a little low on cash. So where do we want to go? Do we go back to the old, the old haunts? Oh, it's actually a crypt here. Should we go smash that crypt? That could be fun. Let's get a boat down to Blankenstadt. Uh, we'll do a couple of missions. We'll recruit some country bumpkins who are real cheap. Um, peddlers. Ooh, a monk. We could get a monk. Day laborer might be alright. Uh, oh, a thief! A thief could be very good. Oh, day laborers, cripple. Let's buy um, let's buy that thief. <coughs> Canut. All right, we're hiring a thief, and we're gonna hire a monk. And what do these lads look like? The monk is lucky. Oh wow, 10% chance to make the attacker re-roll their hits. It's kind of cool. Stick them on the front line. Great. Uh, we've got some chain mail for them. Oh, they've actually got really good 3-star melee skill. They're going to level up their melee really quickly. That's great. Okay. Uh, what should we give them? Get the dagger, obviously. Should we give them a flail? And decent headgear if we got. Okay. Get out there, my boy. And we're gonna need to name them. Uh, also, um, Fritten from Jutland resubscribed and says, Ben, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, Fritten. Thank you for the sub. Um, we also got Slayer Head. Thank you for the bits. And says, all hail Sigma, me. Last time I took a mace to the face. That cannot stand. Sigma. Yeah, one of our guys was named Sigma when we hired him. Hopefully we had to rename him. But that's a good omen, I feel. And um, right, so who's this guy gonna be? Oh, Rusty Tunican has donated. Thank you. And they say, Ben, 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 reporting for duty. Did you ever give Armored Core a chance? I know it's not for everyone, but I love the series. And I'm thrilled we have more Mech Warrior games. Tree a get a great time for the mech genre. I haven't tried it yet. I have to admit, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna if it's for me or not. I like big clunky stompy mechs where you have to like plan ahead. Armored Core looks a lot more like sort of like a like an anime zipping around with jetpacks kind of mech game, which is less appealing to me. It looks basically like what if Dark Souls plus missiles. Which means I might still enjoy it because I did enjoy Dark Souls. But it doesn't feel like a mech game to me. It feels more like a more like an anime fighting game. I'll give it a go at some point. I, just haven't, I haven't had time for playing anything outside of streams and recordings for a while now. Faith is our shield. Uh, what other games are what other mech games are there around at the moment other than Armored Core? Makes it sound like there's been a bunch of cool games. Tell me more, Tuna Can, in the chat. What other games am I missing out on? Um, Man Dog Child, thank you for using your Prime. Put me on the cannon fodder list. I can do that. Ornamental Lizard says, Damn, it's already been another month. I fixed my sudden joblessness after my team was let go in August. Now with a higher salary. Hope you're doing well too. Oh, congratulations, Lizard. That's awesome. Good for you. And Anklick on the Black, thank you for resubscribing. Chop me up, Lord. You're on the list. Uh, apparently you can build big chunky mechs if you want. Tracks, shooty missiles. Uh, tracks don't count. That's another thing that bothers me about Armored Core. Everyone says, like, if you want the big slow mech, it's, it's got to have tank tracks. Which is just... Now you're just a tank with a 
fancy turret that's got arms. That's not a mech. That doesn't count. Turns out I'm quite picky when it comes to mechs, apparently. <laughs> um, right, but we need to name them. So our monk shall be renamed and clag on the black. Welcome aboard, sir. We'll give you a black and white shield as well. Feels more appropriate. Um, all right then, Knut. How about these Knuts? You can wear some leather and a coif and a pike. And you can stand in the back row with the rest of them. What have you got? He's scared of undead. That's unfortunate. We are about to go fight some undead. Um, but you're not a bad shot. But you've got no... Um, you're not going to level those up. I feel like you're an okay character, but you're not going to level up well. Bit of a shame. Oh well. We've got, you're here. You're part of the team. Welcome. We could give you a proper helmet instead of a coif. Why not? It's not like you're shooting. Okay, and should we sell some of our tat? Got a lot of stuff these days. Uh, doesn't seem like a great price on spider gubbins. Maybe we'll save that. Get rid of those ancient shields. Get rid of a few shields. Uh, don't need all those short bows. I'm a bit of a weapons hoarder, I'll, I'll admit that. Um, I just want the capacity to go, you know what, we're all having spears today. And we're all having swords. I like that flexibility. Uh, we'll get rid of that strange meat. Sure. Uh, but we are going to need... Some... Jeez, that bread is expensive. Get some fish. Everything's double the price here. What's going on? Have they got... Oh, uh, right. They've Trade routes have been ambushed and they're trying to rebuild everything. Okay. Uh, drive some brigands. Okay, we'll take a cheap and easy contract to open up the trade routes. And then we'll go smash that undead graveyard. Uh, Lewis Frederick, thank you for resubbing. And they say, always a great day when you're streaming. Chop me up. Maybe this time I can be more than a tiny sentry bot on wheels. Those tiny sentry bots were literally the heroes of the day. You should be proud to have been a gun bot. Speaking of which, I forgot to rename Knut. You get to be... Infidel Tech. Board. And boom. Engage. Yeah, they're not too well armoured. Ow! <laughs> Quit it! <laughs> There's only seven of them. We should be able to do this without taking too many casualties. Um, we'll just wait here for a sec while they... Ow! Fuck's sake! Neutral quartz. They they hate you for some reason. Uh, let's run up here. Yeah, what to do? Bring up Yarl Lewis behind him. I'm not gonna run. I'm not gonna fight on top of that hill. It's for maniacs. Uh, get Tuna Can in there. Yeah, let's get Tuna Can in there. Let them hit him for a turn, that's fine. Um, hmm. Let's get the second line to wait a minute. We'll uh, give everyone a, a morale buff. 
work ball of string, making everyone feel better. Uh, Sven can come up, we'll cover Tunican's back from here. Don't want him getting surrounded, do we? Oh, whoops. Okay, this terrain is breaking our formation up quite a lot. That's alright, that's the way it goes. We'll fix it as we go along. Whew. Mm. Okay, great. Yeah, Lokvik can protect both the crossbowmen who will sit up on the hill. That looks amazing. Okay, I'm happy. I'm real happy with this formation. This is going to be good. Uh, I know it looks a bit chaotic. But we oh! You ass. I think this is going to be solid. Now, can we poke through a tree stump? Should be... Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Uh, let's do the special flail attack to ignore his shield. Oh, right in the head. Amazing. Give me that armor, sir. That's what we like to see. Tunican's going to be tired from swinging that mace around with the special move, but absolutely worth it. Rush in. And we'll wait a minute with Sven. Oh my god! Junican! Malleted to the guts! Oof! You hate to see it. That's just brutal. Uh. There's some axes. Get in there with the gamer. Oh. Shit. Uh, okay, well, at least we get to shoot back now. Guys, come on. You've got to do better. Take me into battle. They're going to crack open my tuna can and get all my delicious tuna. I don't think I can allow that. My guys are incompetent. We knew that already. Uh, I guess we can whip around the flank. Come on, Sven. We'll get him next time. Nice. Get chopped. Oh, Betty! <laughs> That's what it's all about. Okay, no cursed mask today. Uh... Oh no, his mallet boy's swapping out. That's cheating. Can we do the big spinner roo? Let's do it. Three, two, one, spin! It's a good trick. We got one of them. It's better than nothing. Uh... Ooh, good work, Neural Quartz. Uh... Here comes the stab. Ow. Oh, nice. Uh, I think we need to get in there. Come on then, Rufus. Block a tuna can for me. If you would be so kind. 
Okay, they're in trouble now. They've got a big, fully armoured man getting into their missile troops. No one wanted that. We're going to keep blowing our horn and waving our banner to make everyone happy, because that's how we complete our quest today. The more times our guys get happy, the better. Anyone's a good target now. Uh, he's away! Catch that man! Someone's got to be able to catch him, right? Uh, come on, Benny! Oh, double decapitation. Very good. Uh, perfect. Good job, Sven. Stop that, man. Slaughter, actually. I'm kind of starting to feel bad for them now. And that is how we do it. We did well today. Uh, well, yeah, about 100 XP for everyone. Pretty good. But Benny obviously got the most with double decapitations. Looks like some kind of real creepy executioner. I'm into it. Uh, look at that. Four new suits of armor. A helmet. A light smattering of loot. Ooh, signet ring. That's good. 260 gold. That's good too. Take it all, I say. Did Tunican get a permanent injury? I don't think so. No, he sprained his ankle. It can take two to three days to clear. That's fine. It's going to take a long time to repair his fancy armor, though. We'll get there. Who leveled up? Lokvik. Lokvik likes to stab. And likes to live. And likes to not get tired. Oh, he gets to pick a weapon mastery. Are you in chat, Lokvik? Do you have a preferred weapon type? At the moment, he's got... Do more damage... Do more damage. Hit more often. He's just a kill boy. More damage. Well, they're all more damage. Basically, you get to pick a weapon speciality. Do you want maces, flails, hammers, axes, cleavers, swords, daggers, pole arm, spear, crossbow, bow, or throwing weapons? So you can get big two-handed versions of all of those weapons. You just get to pick the style of the, the head, really. More crumping. Well, that's a good answer. Axe. Okay, Lokvik like axe. Do we have a good axe? I don't think we do. Does a pick count? No, it counts as a hammer. Okay. So we've only got hand axes. We don't have like a fancy high end axe yet. We can find one though. Or a hammer. Okay, well, if we give you hammer, we can give you this military pick, which does double damage against armor. It actually does less damage than most weapons. If we compare it to the winged mace, right, it does 35 to 55, whereas the pick only does 20 to 35. So way less damage, but doubles its damage against armor, and half of its damage goes straight through to health. Whereas, yeah, I don't know actually. Oh, it's but it's one. It's a tier below the winged mace, so we should be comparing this to the the morning star, really. So it does about 10 less damage. But it does double double the armor damage. All right, I'll give you a hammer. Or do you want to be a dagger dagger king and shiv people out of their suits of armor? You could stab three times instead of twice. That could be pretty fun. Just eh, 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 eh. 
faith is our shield. Uh, I, I think it's probably it's kind of a meme, but I think it will be quite fun. You have backstab as well. That's right. Okay, this will be funny, and it also makes sense because you're a, you're a thief, right? So you should be like just a shank boy. I'm into that. Right, so Sven has leveled up. Uh, they call him the can opener. Perfect. Uh, right, Sven's got... He's super tough. He's got the tanky skills. Uh, make him, let's keep going with that. We'll make him more, more tough. Uh, neural Quartz. Ooh, that's quite a high missile roll. Uh, we'll make you a shooter. Who can quickly switch back to Pike once battle has been joined. Uh, okay. Always good to have more ranged attack. Benny... chopping I think he's also got the, the max damage stabs we'll give you the axe speciality since you've got the super axe what does it actually do? skills build up less fatigue which is great you do 50% extra shield damage and 5% chance to hit with spin let's do that let's make you a shield splitter oh this will combo perfectly with lockfick right so Benny's going to chop their shield in half with his split shield attack. And then when they've got no shield, Lockvik gets in there. Uh, 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 uh. It's perfect. Without a shield, they'll be easy pickings. Set in. Blue Cube Head, thank you for resubscribing. You say greetings. I was thinking that after my band of mercenaries got attacked four times during the caravan escort, and I'm the lone survivor, no lie, I did <laughs> just did kill my game last week. I was thinking maybe you are a way better leader than I ever was. Plus, I could use the crowns, my lord. Yeah, the caravan missions are hard. Because you're stuck, you have to you have to keep following them. Uh, get the talisman back, we can do that. While we're at it, we can sell that ring. Yeah, I mean, this game is brutally unforgiving sometimes, too. Wouldn't blame yourself uh, for doing a die. Everyone does a die sometimes. Take me into battle. Mm. Right, we're still way really low on tools, but we'll finish this mission first. Get the tools to be more affordable. I've only got one day of food. God, food's gonna really, really start costing us now. Follow the tracks east. It's this way. Okay, so hopefully we wrap this up quickly and easily, and then we can properly sell our gear and buy new supplies once the town's economy is fixed. Uh, good stuff the Elder's property is being sold off by brigands to a pale man in black. He glares at you before everyone else, his beady black eyes narrowing on your company in an instant. He's got a necromonger! <gasps> okay. Hmm. We need one dude alive at the end. I mean, it might be fun to try and rebuild. I know the game's difficulty scales based on the number of guys you have, so it should give you a couple of easier missions to help you, like, rebuild. Take me into battle. Right, we've got to kill that Necromancer fast. Oh, but there's still 13 guys. Yikes. Okay. Um... Hmm. Let's 
wait and see for a sec. Oh, oh well they're, they're not very well armed. Okay, great. We'll just go in then. Um, I'm going to push. One, two, three, four. The bottom side's got a couple of maimed legged guys, so they're not going to move very far. Um, but the top lock can, can really get in there. Oh, shit. Lewis. Um, God, they've all got like picks and shit. Okay. Um, right, well, at least we've got the long swords. Could be worse. Send them back up up north. Uh... Oh, that's okay. Not too many of them are going up north. That's good. Thanks for leaving me a lovely, um, lovely platform from which to fight on. Appreciate that. Um, nice, good bopping. Okay, well, Lockfix's not going to need his dagger yet. None of these guys' armor is worth salvaging, so we'll just get in there with his big club. Wham! Suck it! God, I love a one-shot kill. So satisfying. Sprinters to deal with that guy quick. Hopefully, the north guys can break through fast. Uh... Oh, it's a good start, Lewis. Thank you. Uh... Oh, Benny, come on. That's your brand new. Like Super X. What are you doing? Uh, I'm worried. One of our guys is like scared of, of zombies, isn't he? Spin attack here? Not without hitting our own guy. Okay. Fair. We need some decapitations here. God, they're, they're breaking into our spit. Well, I've not handled my shield wall well at all here. Uh. God, that was pathetic, Tuna Can. Must try harder. Guys, you've got to actually hit these things. Please. Okay, we can fire like one shot quickly. Swap weapons. Poke. Tunicans almost out of armor. This is actually legit scary. 
Ähm. Ah. Business Goose is in the house. Ähm. Let me go Thor. would be a good titan. He's still got like a wounded foot or something. Oh yeah, he's got the maimed foot. Shit. Okay. Oh, what? Crap. That's all he's doing then. I feel like dogs don't do great against zombies. Ah, finally, Benny. Good job. Get back. Got to save Tuna Can next. Uh, got to get some more guys in there. Uh, okay, looks like Lewis might break through to the Necromancer. Oh, come on! <laughs> You'd totally be dead. Uh... Okay, that's the start. I think we're killing them faster than he can res them. Which is a good sign. You know? That's what you want. Need to get rid of that zombie and then we can break through. Real nice. Oh my god, why are we getting them all down to one health? It's so frustrating. Uh, yes! Good work, Sven! Let's go, go, go! Well, at least zombies are terrible against heavy armor. Which makes sense. If I was fighting a zombie, I would definitely want to be in, like, a suit of plate mail. I feel like, actually, like, zombies are way less of a threat in, like, a medieval setting. You know, when everyone's got, like, axes and swords and armor and shields, they're, they're going to give you just a way less hard time. There must be like a like a B movie of zombies in the Dark Ages or something, right? Like that, that must have been done, right? Has anyone seen a good one? I can't think of one that I've seen. Evil Dead. Well, yeah, I mean, Evil Dead is not exactly a serious film, though, is it? <laughs> it's more of a goofy comedy. Army of the Dead. I haven't heard of that one. Kingdom? I don't think I've heard of that one either. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Good point. God, I totally blanked on Game of Thrones because all the good bits of Game of Thrones are before the zombies attack. Once the zombies, like, actually start being a major problem, the show turns to shit. Closing in on him now. This shouldn't be too tough. <laughs> oh. 
I was pretty tired though. This is the problem when you fight zombies in this game. Your guys get tired uh, after a couple of rounds of combat and you just get worn out. Army of Darkness was the, was the third Evil Dead movie, which is definitely the silliest one. Get him, doggo! Yarl Lewis impales the necromancer on a pike. Perfect. Uh, will I be doing an Iron Man run of Ma Menace when it comes out? Probably. It looks very good. I mean, it depends, you know, if I'm not enjoying it, I won't bother. But, um, yeah, I'm excited. I think it should be good. Looks looks like it's going to be good. Whew. Yeah, everyone got about the same XP, except for Lewis. He got bonus XP. He got three kills. It's pretty good going. Loads of level ups. Not many injuries. Great success. We are running very low on tools now. Let's go get our money and get fixed up. Uh, let me look back. Kingdom. I've not heard of Kingdom. I will look that up. Uh... Is the Japanese one with samurai? Do you know what that's called? I love a good samurai movie. And I'm kind of in the mood for zombies again. I haven't watched a zombie film for like 10 years now. So I'm kind of in the mood for it again. I was definitely overloaded with, with it at one point. Okay, lots of recommendations for Kingdom. Cool. Tools are still expensive. They're still rebuilding. But I need them. I'm just going to have to pay over the odds. Can't be helped. Uh... Definitely sell some stuff, though. Sell off some shields. Uh, sell a hatchet. Sell that crap flail. We'll basically just sell any tier one or two weapons that turn up. At this point, we're kind of beyond them. Oh, it's set in Korea. Okay. I don't know much about Korean history, to be honest. Cool. But I did enjoy the Stormlight Archive, which is a fantasy book that is supposedly quite heavily based on Korean history. Hmm. HR Mad Larkin, thank you for the sub. Say hello, Bon. Can I add myself to the chump pool? I want to die in glorious combat again. Hopefully round one, as usual. Nice. Okay, we'll get you in. There's no guarantee you'll die in the first round, though. So, but fingers crossed. I lost a guy for a couple of battles, actually. Hmm. Fighting orcs won't come cheap. It's true. Wow, 2,400 bucks. Faith is our shield. Oof. But orcs are very tough in this game. Hmm. Do you think we can take on orcs? What's a good what's the best like weapon loadout? Um to fight orcs. Oh my god, it's so far away. I will purge. Holy moly. They could have told me it was so far away. Hello! Oh, Digby, welcome. Thank you for the raid, Digby. Are you here? What did you what were you streaming? 
Do you have a good stream? Welcome to all the the Digbanites. That what you guys are called? I don't know. Uh Right, we're about to fight some orcs. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Battle Brothers. It's quite a punishingly difficult game. And orcs in this are pretty strong. But we've been offered quite a lot of money to deal with them. So we're going to give it a try. We're going to sail to Albuk. Step one, get on boat. Uh, 200 bucks, take that. While we're here, we'll have a quick look in the shops. Oh, they've got cheap grain. Amazing. And cheap fish. We shall have that. Uh, I think we've got much else we need to sell at this point. Uh, you're cruising around the Caribbean in naval action. We've got a pirate-themed LARP event tomorrow. Uh, fending off the keen a little. Nice! Oh, that sounds really fun. Oh, well, I hope you enjoy the, the LARPing. God, there's a whole bunch of guys around here who love doing pirate LARP. Um, they've got some amazing costumes. That's the nice thing, actually. Like, a, you've got a lot of freedom with like pirate costumes. You can lean into so many different directions. What What's your character like? Uh, Sell the throwing axes. Why? Do you not like throwing axes? We got a couple of our guys using throwing axes. Like Thor's got some. And Rufus the Hairy's got some. Do any of them have shoulder parrots? Not that I know of. Parrot's a tricky one, really. You know, because a fake one looks not great. But a real one is... I don't know if you want to go out drinking with a real parrot. <laughs> it's going to get in trouble. <laughs> oh. Should be good. The downtime came from the last Great event. Apparently, shit. James Quartermain character talked his way into a French admiral's ball and drank him out of champagne. <laughs> Looking forward to working out how that goes down over the weekend. Oh, that sounds great. I mean, any LARP that just ends in a drinking contest sounds Great's just like the best time. Hope you enjoy. Have a great time. All right, Rufus the Hairy. He's a flail expert who is brawny. With, okay, he's very tough. Rufus is, is, is a tank. Uh, we could give him rotation. We don't have anyone with rotation yet, and that could be quite handy to save save wounded lads. Uh, or we could get a new skill. Uh, God, what does this do? With every attack, hit or miss, against an opponent that acts after you in the current round, inflict Overwhelmed, which lowers their attack for 10%. Hmm. Lone Wolf? No, I don't want Lone Wolf. Uh, being No penalty for being surrounded? Those sound like they work together. Footwork allows you to leave zone of control without frigging, triggering free attacks. That would be pretty good. Like on those missions where we want to go hunt down an archer or a wizard or a necromancer or something, having someone who can just bolt out of combat actually be pretty good. Um, Overwhelm was great if you got chump with high initiative. I don't know how great his initiative is. 75... No, it's like one of my lowest. I think I probably want rotation or footwork. Are you here, Rufus? Should we give you uh give you final choice? Uh, but in the meantime, Chesternaf. Man, thank you, Chesternaf, for giving up five gift subs. That is super cool. Make sure you thank them if you got one of those. And we got uh, Dareth. He's their prime. Thank you very much. And they say, Hail Bampura. I've been a vodka blim recently. I finally managed to catch a stream again. Chump me up. And we'll put you on the wheel. Thank you very much. Uh, DMCK Rogers. Thank you for subscribing. You say, enjoy the Bezos bucks. I had my first 40 game 
I had my first game of 40k in about 18 years and won. Whoop! Oh, congratulations. Hope you enjoyed it. Rufus is not in chat. All right, we'll give him a uh, rotato. Someone needs to have it. Um, how do we get to uh, HL Mad Larkin? Also, uh, donate some bits. Thank you very much. And they say, Ben, did you ever show Tom the end and the death list of 41 custodies? If so, is there a clip? Uh, no, I didn't. Um, is that the tournament list where it's just a four big squads of boys? It sounds so boring. But apparently very effective. I guess it doesn't exist anymore now because they've maxed out unit sizes to five, I think. Take me into battle. Um... No, it's in the book where they have an insane number of custodies. And Tom would be furious. What? I don't understand. What is it? Oh, I see. You mean the name list? Uh, yeah, one of the books has 41 named custodian characters on the, on the list of characters. I remember. I did show that to him. Um, I don't think he... It didn't, there wasn't a big reaction. I don't remember him being like particularly fussed one way or the other about that one. Uh, what does Thor want? Thor has got a bad foot. Oh, we'll give him quick swap. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I guess just, you know, sometimes... People just don't um, don't react the way you think they do. Maybe caught them on a weird weird day. Don't worry about that. It's okay. Uh, let's just get everyone leveled up. We can move on. Uh, Diddy David's got fast adaptation. I guess I give him quick quick swap. And then ah, oh, Lewis leveled up. Should we give him opening strikes? Cool. All right, then everyone's leveled up. We are ready to go hunt some orc. God, they, okay. Everyone who's asked for a chump, this is probably your your moment. Um, I think we're going to fight some orcs. Half of us are going to die, and we'll have a fresh new wave of boys to name. Dies. Are they expensive though? Okay, but worth remembering if we ever get rich enough to repaint all of our armor, we come back here to do it. Oh, Bagman. I'm just going to hire that guy anyway. I think it's always good to have an insane cultist around wearing a bag over his head. I feel like that'll give us some fun event choices. Chest enough. You said you wanted a lad. Do you want? Do you want bag boy? <laughs> Chest enough. The cultist is here. Okay, you get to be like our, like our uh, chaplain. You get to sit back at camp. You're not actually in the battles, but you're just going fly. Just getting the lads ready. It's good for morale. And occasionally we might get a random event where you come in handy and give us a cool option in chat. Alright, god, this is going to take a while. Do we have enough food for this journey? Uh, we can go three days. Probably not enough. Get some more grain. And some roots and berries. We've got enough money. Uh, we got 12 days of pay, 
five days of food. Okay, that Faith should be fine. Is Off we go. Uh, thank you to the Mr. Bones, who's resubbed. Appreciate that. And thank you, Mornaval, for resubbing. Says, I was watching the VODs and realized it was Thursday. VODs will have to wait. They will have to wait. You're right. While we kill brigands. Don't know why I'm not getting paid for this. Oh, God, and we're in the middle of the woods. It's fine. We'll just shoot the shit out of them. They are going to come to us, right? Yeah. Come and get it. God, my guys suck. But this is another opportunity to, um, to blow the horn, make people happy. Give us more renown when we've uh, completed our quest. So I'm into that. Uh... Boo. Okay, come and get me, boys. They're firing back. That's rude. I didn't agree to that. Stop it. We've really quite got enough firepower now. Throwing axes at this rate doesn't normally happen. Hmm. Is that literally their plan? To stop two hexes away from me? I'm not into this plan. We've got three crossbows. You've got to come to us. That's the rule. All of their shit hits. This is fucking lame. <laughs> they haven't missed one yet! What is happening? Um. They're literally hitting with everything. What? 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 We can get in them. We will get in there if that's what we need to do. Uh... Come on, Sir Sven. Give him a spinning sword chop. Oh, oh shit! Did he, David? I take it all back. You fucking legend. Shot through the heart. You give crossbows a good name. Okay. <laughs> it's working. It's working. Faith is our shield. Uh, 
Uh, let's wait with Gamer on Live. Uh. Alright, Sven. Spinning roundhouse kick. Engage. Ow. Boo. That never works. Alright, let's break his shield. Nice. Don't break shields very often. Feels real good. Stab it. Um. Hmm. Getting a bit traffic jammed up here. Okay, spinning roundhouse kick. Oh, what? Good work, Benny. Okay, the curse of the mask seems to be lifted. He's just kicking ass now. He's somehow found a way to transfer the curse onto his enemies. doing that and I'll be happy forever. God, he didn't even have his melee weapon out. That feels bad. Perfect. Uh, yeah, decent. Decent XP all round. Get some bucks. Get some stuff to sell. The curse only works on frontline guys. Oh, you might be onto something there. Yeah. Maybe the mask was always supposed to be a backline trick. How are we doing for medical supplies? I think. Oh. You come to a stack of stones carefully placed on a small hillside. Inspecting them, you find white carvings on the rocks. Each one tells a different story. Ones where large brutes wander and cause disturbing amounts of violence towards smaller, thinner sick stick figures. Infidel Tech laughs at the drawings. That's orc fancery. What passes for such a thing, anyway? We're the little men in those pictures, in case you're wondering. Okay, warnings that orcs live nearby. We knew that. We're going to make camp, get everyone healed up. Who dinged? Camera. Camera on live has leveled up, but it's a bit of a shit level up roll. Uh, I guess melee defense. What's he got? He's got two toughness perks and backstab. Five percent extra chance to hit with spin and swing. Um, builds up less fatigue. It's not great, but sure. He's a sword expert now. Well, Anklick on the Blackstone is first level up, which is pretty cool. Uh, he's on the front line. I guess he should be tougher. All right, how long is he injured for? One to three days. How much equipment do we need? Twelve hours to fix our gear. Okay, we'll wait the day. Okay, we're all 
good except for Anklecon. But it's fine. He's in the maimed foot gang. Everyone on this flank's got terrible legs. I'm a bit scared of orcs, I have to admit. Oh, but look! Can we get them to join? Are they close enough to be part of this battle? The Iron Crown Company? Yes, they are. Oh, amazing. That, that's fine. We'll just let them take the um, the brunt of it. Good job, lads. Many mercenaries. Orcs are spooky. Jeez, okay, these guys have got good armor. I thought because there was only seven of them, they wouldn't actually be that good. We should have brought our nets. Nets are a great idea for just catch an orc. Right, even though there's a lot of us, this is actually still going to be hard. Um... I'm going to hang back. Oi! Which ones? These are young. Orc young aren't too bad. It's the, um, it's the big orcs that are the problem. I cannot believe you guys are such cowards. Oh, they're not all cowards. They're just really badly organized. Interesting. Um, yeah, this is the problem. They come in and they stun you. Okay. Let me just go straight to... Uh, fuck ranged attacks. Just gonna stab. Killing younglings. I mean, true. If you say it like that, it sounds bad. Hold. Hold fast, everybody. Oh, jeez. These are just armoured young. They're not even the main ones. Okay, I'm spooked. I'm officially spooked. Um... Hmm... Hey, good shot, business goose. Fuck. Um, um Okay. Why are you so spooky? Get in there, guys. You can't hang back forever. Please. Oh my god, that armor. See how little damage we just did. It's so tough. Hmm. Well, just start blasting, I guess. Hey, that's a good start. Wait on this flank, right? I'm gonna. Hey! Gosh. Okay, great swords. Pretty good. Oh, fuck. Already stunned. Oh, 
Jan Lewis gets another kill. Very cool. At least they're not berserkers. Orc berserkers like attack every time they get in. Oh, fuck, Lockwick. To the rescue. Oh my god, Lockvik. Jeez. I cannot take many hits from these guys. Okay. Um, let's get rid of some of these shields. That should help. I can't quite get over the amount of armor these guys have. Bloody crazy. Okay, okay, at least they're committing. We're not on our own. Yeah, get in there. Rotate Lockvik out. Oh, we can't while he's stunned. Shit. Okay, I'll wait. Um, it's two seventy-seven percent missed. Come on, Cheetah Ken. We've got to do better than that. Uh, Yeah, some hammers would have been good. We've only got one decent hammer, though. It's like the only weapon type we haven't managed to stockpile properly. Oh, fuck. Anglicon's bleeding. Hey, good shot for Glad that's not my guy. Okay, we're going to swap out Lockvik. Rufus to the rescue. He's chopped away everyone's shields. Hopefully that'll help overwhelm them now. Oh, nice. Spin attack's paying off. That's cool. The unarmored young are not actually all that tough. Everyone else bloody well is. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it.
I'm gonna get some more bandages. I think Ball of Strings got our only one. Oh, shit, Thor's out of out of weapons. Uh No! Cam I Ah, oh, Lockvik! You cowards! Fucking cowards. We're winning! Ooh, good shot! can win this quickly, our bleeding guys won't won't go out of action. Uh, good work, neural quartz. Do the walks ever surrender? Is that a thing? I mean, you can't miss now, we've got them so heavily surrounded, right? Oh, I don't think he's gonna make it, is he, Anklagon? Feels bad, man. You fucking cowards. <laughs> Shoot your own guy in the back. Jeez. Hey, infidel tech. Everyone gets to get their aura in here now. Hey, we did it. We saved him. We saved Anklacon before he bled out. Okay. One, two, three, four. We've got six kills. Not bad, considering how well equipped those mercenaries were. I was worried they were going to kill steal everything. I can't believe we didn't lose a single guy. That went way better than I expected. But then I wasn't expecting seven elite allies to turn up at the last minute. Um, thank God. Sven got 300 damage in. Business Goose got 568 damage. Wow. No Business Goose. Putting everyone else to shame. Oh. Barely any loot at all. I guess most orc equipment isn't usable. You find a few human corpses. Uh, none of their gear is useful. It's all been burned. Wow. I mean, we still get to get two and a half grand in payment. So I'm not going to complain about that at all. Off we go. The long trek home. Hmm. Semtex Warrior, thank you for using your Prime. I appreciate that. Johnny H also subscribed and said I never played Battle Brothers before, but after watching the VODs of this, I'll probably give it a crack. Work and time zones mean I'm not often around live. Well, that's okay. Thank you for um, for subscribing anyway. And yeah, enjoy. It's a, it's a brutal game, but it's pretty fun. Um, thank you, uh... Zenith BD for using your prime. Oh, that was hard to read. Um, oh. We're out of tools and arrows. Tools, arrows, tools. Uh, uh, actually, where are we going? 
going to Blankenstadt. Ooh, there's collectors looking for exotic curios here. Perfect, I've got some of those. Let's see if we can get some cash. Yes! Buy my spider's shit. My weird orc weapons. and tools, but they're so expensive here. What the hell? Steinberg no longer has marauding greenskins. We get all the money. Hooray! Whoa. Okay. I don't normally like escort missions, but six grand is a lot of money. Um, seven days is fucking ages. Maybe later. Which food have we got left? Four days. Right, I do want to get more noble missions. How are we doing on the... Still neutral. Let's sail to Hindfest. No missions here still. Ugh. how spread out this area is. Maybe we should just go north. Uh, I don't like how spread out this whole part of the map is. Travelling is expensive and time consuming. Let's go to Alabak. start heading out of this region. But we'll get we'll get 900 bucks while we're here. Kill some monsters. Spiders. Okay, what's good against spiders? Probably be fine with what we've got, right? Take what we got. A plethora of weapons. At least you're not. In the, they're so much easier to fight when you're not getting ambushed. And there's no eggs to worry about. Sixteen is a lot, though. So many of them. Kind of spooked by these raw numbers. I'm imagining the sacks. That's the only thing keeping me going. It's just dreams of sackages. Take me into battle. But it's so demoralizing when you guys just can't bloody hit anything. Flank. 
Yikes. Ignoring my mid completely. Oof. Okay, well, spinning roundhouse kick. Let's do it. It's always so disappointing. How bad is being stuck in a web? Like, am I better off just not worrying about it? Or should I be trying to get them free? Uh, like, is it worth giving up someone's attack? Is the real question, isn't it? Raising morale. Grind that rep it gives me. Uh, how bad is it? Can't move. Twice as much of their attack will go through your armor. I do half damage, half defense, half initiative. Okay, it's pretty bad. remember the last time we fought spiders I was just endlessly trying to um, get out of webs and it wasn't working felt like I was wasting my time oh shit there are eggs here Carry their eggs with them on the road? Seems kind of weird. Nothing as satisfying as getting that, that one hit kill. It's just the best feeling. It's the exact opposite of hitting something twice and missing both times. <laughs> Funny how those things completely cancel out. Uh... I don't know if I'm ever going to get to those eggs. They spawn so quickly. I feel like I've killed half the spiders, but there's still just as many left as there was. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Get them eggs. Uh. Oh my god, spending my whole turn trying to pull off webs and not doing it. Literally the worst.
Oh, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. <laughs> you little fucking bastards. Um... Just so swarmy. Hey. At least they are dying now. Actually killing them. Anglicon always is having a bad time, isn't he? I feel like he's like our, our whipping boy. Takes all the beats. Uh. Okay, our guys are tired. But they're doing it. Doing it, boys. <laughs> Looks like everyone needs a rest after all that. Uh, but they're just going to keep coming if we try and rest. many spawn out of those eggs? Oh, they're afraid. Okay, they're actually afraid. Should we just leave it at that? Skip everyone's turn. A little run off the board. They're afraid! Oh, don't you bite my dog? Jeez. They're running away to lay more eggs. Are you serious? Do they do that? You've properly scared me now. That isn't what they do, is it? No, you're winding me up. That would be insane. That would just be like an endless bug hunt. Oof. I'll take that. I'll take another no death. Can't believe how many no deaths we've had today. This is mad. Six poison glands. So many bulging glands recovered today. Alright, we did it. Give me more money. Give me my money, money, money. Do they want do they want the the bulging sacks? Are you interested in that? Take your amber, it's a good price. Take your grain, take some arrows. I'll get take some medical supplies and bandages while we're at it. Uh how do you feel about glands? They're not interested in my gland. Fair. Why would they be? Um, no, I'm barely interested. They do have a noble quest here. Pretty simple. Go to Tiefenhaven, 
then to Blankenstadt, then return here. Along the way, slay every man or beast that be a danger. Oh, so it's a patrol mission. 230 bucks and 50 bucks for every kill. Mm. It's not the best. But it is more noble rep. Which I'm looking for. we go. Can, do I get points for killing anything? Like if I find some random wolves on the road that aren't on the road. Like if I go, like, can I just kill that? Will that count? Perfect. How are my guys doing? Are they still wounded? Yeah, let's give them a minute. Um, Fidel Tech, what did you get? Well, we'll give you more. Give you swap. Swap powers. Do you like having more archers? More neural quartz. Uh, very good. Got swap and damage. Let's give you dissipation. And Yarl Lewis. You can have. Ooh, tuna can leveled up. Okay, that's pretty cool. What have you got at the moment? You wear heavy armor better. You're resilient, which hasn't really come into play yet. And oh, man, I've barely used these skills. They weren't great picks. Uh, what is your initiative? Oh, you got a good initiative considering how much armor you're wearing. Overwhelm. Right, how bad are these injuries? Ah, they're fine. Let's go in. This will probably give me like, yeah, it's 12. It's like half of my uh, quota in one battle. Well, they're not bad equipped though, are they? Hmm. Do you think they'll come to me? I guess we're about to find out. Oh, we're actually out of range. Always such fucking good shots. <laughs> so frustrating. Assholes, the but a lot of them. Uh... Morale's a bit shaky. Yeah, my morale's always shaky because of like the quest I've chosen to take. I take a big morale hit, um, but it lets me bring two extra guys to a fight. It's pretty cool. Uh. Nice. Hey. 
That's why I got this guy. Honk honk. Cheers everyone up quite a bit. Oh, okay. The shooting is working now. Almost got rid of a whole guy. Okay, he doesn't really know what to do, does he? He's just shuffling about. Wasting a lot of fatigue on shield wall. Which feels redundant. Uh, let's finish that lad off. Nope, not today. Nice. Maybe we can convince them to come to us. So. <laughs> Shield wall. I don't think you've quite read this situation. Not sure, spear wall, rather. Oh my god! Diddy David! Please, don't die. I think I'm actually going to have to run him out of there. I'm really surprised they're not coming in. Maybe we should charge next turn. Maybe we just let him waste all his fatigue on all these shield walls, to be honest. I think we do one more round of shooting. It's going to get David out of there. When is it going to be his go, though? Do you, like, reduce initiative when you injured? I feel like everyone's had a go. Twice. Uh... There he is. Okay. Yeah, you got to get out of there, dude. Oh, good shot. I, I feel like we're winning this shooting war, but it is very slow paced. about these big shield boys. Uh... Well, bugger it. Let's just go chop him up. How bad can it be, right? Wham! Tuna can to the face!
Oh, wow. That guy's brave. Holy shit. Oh my god, Neural Quartz! Jeez! Save some for the rest of us, my dude. Holy crap. Not out of flails. The trouble with the throwing axes actually is that they do get really tired. Wow. God, I love these long swords. We've got to get more of these long swords, man. This is the way. Uh, let's crack that shield. through these dudes, and I'm loving it. Keep going. Uh, I think all these flails are actually starting to pay off now. Actually getting some head hits in. Say goodbye to your shield. Yeah, you better back away. Go get him. Be annoyed if they escape this. Uh... Okay, we really need to win initiative here. These guys are worth money, I can't let them escape. We got them pinned down. Okay, no one's getting away today.
Perfect. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, I take it all back. Someone is getting away. <laughs> Bastards. Most of these guys can end their turns. Come back here. <laughs> He's a fucking slippery eel, that guy. I don't normally bother running them down, but I feel like we've actually got got a chance here. At least getting one more guy. And you're getting paid by the head. Feels worth it. Dogs. It's always a good way to catch people. Oh, slippery! So slippery. Come on. Well, there's no escape for at least that guy, hopefully, now. Can I catch that one? Double down on this guy then. Ooh, we might catch him. Nah, he's gone. He's gone. Sometimes I wonder if this game would work better as an auto battle, you know. I feel like once you've picked your skills and and your weapons and your deployment, the actual combat is kind of predetermined anyway. There's only so many things you can do. <sighs> okay, we almost lost Kama. Tunican took a few hits, but that was great. Absolutely great. Got 200 bucks. We got loads of equipment. Got a couple of silver bowls that are worth 500 bucks each. Very cool. Oh, shit. Gotta lose some stuff. Uh... That'll do. I honestly can't believe we've we haven't lost a guy yet. <laughs> Impressive. Uh, Johnny H, thank you for donating. Very generous, fifteen bucks. And you say so. If one is thinking about their first Battle Brothers game, do you have a recommendation on which DLC, if any, are best for starting out? Um, I don't know if you need the DLC. I'll be honest. Let me have a look at it. Um. I think the, the base game is fine as it is. Uh, there's, I mean, there's two free DLCs. You may as well get those. Uh, the other ones do add some fun things, but you don't need them. I'd just play vanilla, to be honest. See if you like it, and then if you do enjoy it, one of them adds um, a lot more alternate starting setups. I think Beasts and Exploration does that. I would only bother with the expansions once you've played regularly and you want to see some new stuff. There's definitely enough in the base game. I don't even have um, Blazing Sands DLC, so I couldn't tell you about that. Okay, reached one town. Got abducted children. Mm. Let's 
talk to the tavern. Uh, so hopefully they know something about the abducted children. Oh, we finished our oath. Okay, everyone's happy about that. We gained some renown. Uh, where do we need to go now? You come across an abandoned chapel. Cobwebs dress its cracks and bird nests the corners. The pews are tipped over or have been chopped up for firewood. The old gods have surely left this place. Neural Quartz, the historian, comes to you with what looks like muddy logs in his hands. Would you look at this? Old scripts! He blows the blackened dust and ash off the scrolls. Have you ever seen something so spectacular? I don't know what they say yet, but it's the most interesting of finds. Alright. While sitting in your tent outside the abandoned temple, Neural Quartz, the historian, enters in a manner best described as reluctant. In his hands are the scrolls he found in the chapel a few days back. Sir, uh, the scrolls. They were most interesting. Bored, you inquire as to how interesting. The man explains. Well, they've been written in a very ancient language. I'm not well versed in it, but I could certainly read portions here and there. You ask him what he wants, then. I'd like to read the scrolls, but I could do with a bit of confidence before I do. Would you grace the reading? This is what my old professors would do before any great undertaking. Alright. Uh, he picks up the scroll and begins to read. The language is both familiar and yet primordially ancient. It tickles the ear like a scratch of vipers over the sand, and by no means any less threatening. When he's finished, the historian looks up. Feel anything? Suddenly a dark yet soft hand grips around the man from behind. Curling towards his loins. <gasps> it's a sexy book. Oh, humans. We did not think you would survive this long. And indeed, it has been long since our services were called upon. What? Sexy demon. Live, hip-swaying creatures slip so lightly into the tent as though they were hardly more than the wind itself. Outside, you can hear a number of the, a murmur of the rest of the company being overcome by the seductive beings. One walks towards you, a shape flashing between all of the women of your life, testing your response. And when your heart warms, it settles on a young lady that once broke your heart. The succubus falls atop you. Don't mind me, human. This is for you. Relax. You let the pleasures wash over you. Oh my god. You're getting sucky bide. Immeasurable hours later, you awake with your trousers down and neural quartz in the corner rubbing his head. <laughs> Which head? They were so wonderful, but the scroll's gone. I think it burned after I said the words. Oh, by the old gods. I do wish I remember what they said. Oh my god. Just a, everyone is euphoric. Just a lovely sexy evening with some slaneshi demons. I'm sure that'll be fine. Right? It'll be fine. Nothing, nothing bad ever came from demonic sexy times. Alright, let's check in and sell some of this loot. Um, get rid of these javelins and bolus. Uh, okay, we are officially hoarding too many weapons. I, I accept that now. Uh. 
Okay, so we need... We need tools. Arrows. Bandages. Oh, who is it benched? Okay. Anklagon and Infidel Tech. Fair enough. Though I'm actually going to take Diddy David out instead. And I'm going to give more people on the back line bandages. We haven't actually captured any better armor for a long time. Hmm. I'll get some better shields, though. We're not really using shields, are we? Let's get all kite shields. Better. 20, 15, 14... Uh, okay, kite shields are better at arrows, and heater shields are better in melee. So we probably want heaters then. Oh, is that click on the only guy who leveled up? Oh wow, he's actually a good shot. Another throwing axe guy. Should we go smash up those skelly bobs? I'll get some easy kills. Well, don't know about easy. Uh, Rip Zagus, thank you for using your Prime. Chump me up. I'm trying to get people chumped up, but no one's bloody dying. Very confusing. We'll wait till the daytime. Not in a big rush. Oh, a new oath. Okay. So the oath of righteousness. What does that mean? Oh, wow. Big buffs against undead. Get renowned for slaying the undead. But then buffs debuffs against anyone else. God, that's risky for ten days. Um same but against beasts. Uh hmm. Let's be undead killers, sure. We just wander the countryside looking for, for ancient ruins. Faith is our shield. Let's do it. Let's chop them up. Thank you, a single a single tortoise. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, our little gang seems a bit small now. Oh shit, there's 17 of them. Whatever they may be. I think we probably just need to um, ditch ranged attacks now. Skellies are not usually fussed about arrows. Are they going to come? Hello? Oh, they're zombies, not skellies. Okay, that makes life a little bit easier. Oh shit, there's a ghost and a necromancer. Okay, that's more of a problem. 
I don't really know what the ghosts do. Two ghosts. Does anyone know how ghosts work? Is there like a trick? They scream. They scare you. Okay, and so is there something is there an easy way to like wound them? Kill them as fast as possible. Yikes. I'll do what I can. Die in one hit, but they're hard to hit. Okay, so we've just got to get lucky against them. Okay, I can get lucky. I've done it before. Once or twice. Not very often. Yeah, we're going to start tooting that horn. They see me tooting. Uh, ow. No, not so Sven. He's about to do a spinning roundhouse kick. You bastards. Uh, okay, they've done a pretty good job of making it hard to hit those guys. Hey, Lewis, ghost killer. Good work. <laughs> the ghosts are really the only thing I've got to worry about. Most of these zombies have just got no weapons or daggers. Yeah, I'll release the dog once um, once we thin the horde out a bit and the dog can actually get to the important targets. Oh, shit. So Sven is going to get ripped apart trying to flee. This is really bad. How can I save Sven? Good start. Now we can run through. Get that ghost. Tuna can. Uh. Okay. We're on a mission. Mission to save our brave boy. It's 
spends too cool to die. I've decided. Games heard me. Oh my god. Thor! That zombie's got some actual damage on him. I'll save Thor too. Oh, Sven! Please! I told you so many times not to do a die. Well, rip Thor. Oh my god, they are all coming back. We literally can't kill them fast enough. No, <laughs> not Rufus too. Dog time. Things have got bad. Dogs are required. Right, lucky time. Let's get lucky. Nice. It's good lucking. We might be digging him out of this hole. Maybe? Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Sven, please. I think we can save Sven. Is it too late? I think we can do it. There's hardly any zombies left. Uh. Ooh, okay, we can make a lunge for the necromancer. Can't stem the bleeding while he's still in combat. That's frustrating. Can stab some nerds though. Okay, he's free. Sven, you got a clear run. Oh no. No, now Kama's gonna die instead. Uh. Okay, Sven, you've been saved. Now you have to save Kama. Ah, oh, yes. We're doing it, maybe. Uh. Okay, where's the bleeding there? Okay, let's. Oh! Oh fuck, I'm in melee so I can't use the bandages! Shit, I didn't... I'm an idiot. Uh... Bandages are so hard to actually use, aren't they? Right, let's, let's do it. We did a bandage. It might be enough. Oh, 
God, my two sword guys. It looks like they might actually live. God for bandages. Nice, Benny. Just keep reaching over that with your big long axe. Perfect. Uh, I think these guys are all going to stay here for a minute. Rally. How many more zombies can he raise? Can he raise zombies when I'm hitting with a Ah, oh, look at that. Lokvik just bops him. Excellent work, Lokvik. Okay, this is... This looked like it was going to go really badly. I was worried we were going to lose like three or four guys here. But actually... Taking that big leadership buff, I think, has really paid off. Yeah, the quest to kill undead. Oh! <laughs> Fuck! The zombie just cut the head off my dog! You prick! That's not cool. We've had that dog for ages. I was so shocked. It's got one tapped. Oh my god. Vengeance against zombies. Rip. Rip that good boy. Oh, Thor didn't even die. He climbs back up again. What a hero. What did he get? He has a weakened heart. Permanently has 30% less hit points. Temporarily has a cut artery. But he made it. He only went and bloody made it. Oof. God, Benny got nearly 700 damage. Jeez, we need more of these long axes. Oof. Got some loot. Got a creepy hat. His heart is weak because of dog death. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, well, let's get back to Dawnland and sell some of this shit. Oh! We can kill dogs. Did anyone level up? I think Thor needs to come off the front line. And... I guess Anklagon can take his place. Ball of string. Uh, what kind of perk do you want? Battle forged. Nimble. Headhunter. Hmm. Berserk. If he kills the enemy, he gets four action points back. Those are good skills, but not really for what he's doing. I think I just want to... He's always... Once he does a rally, everyone gets tired. I mean, he gets tired, so... I kind of just want to give him Brawny. To reduce his fatigue for wearing all that armor. It's a bit boring, but... It'll let him do more rallying. Um, all right, where do we get to? Our mini bus. Thank you for resubscribing. You say I'm full of fish and chips. Evening, everyone. Oh, I'm jealous. Fish and chips sounds great. And Lockvik donates. Thank you, Lockvik. And they say, Ben, on a more serious topic, how do you feel about the future of the Battletech game with the whole Unity thing going on? Um. I didn't... I didn't know there was a Battletech game. What do you mean? You mean the one that's been out for like six years? 
I didn't know it like had a future. Isn't it done? That's been out five years. Um, is there a new Battletech game in development? I don't know. Explain. I have no context. Microsoft own the license, and Hebron Studios say there's no plan to make a sequel due to that. Okay. Well, that doesn't sound like a Unity issue. That sounds like someone else owns the rights. So... I don't know. Uh, Unity is charging for installs. Yeah, but Unity have also backtracked on that, last I heard. Everyone made a big fuss, and so they were like, ooh, yikes, we need to rethink this, because everyone hates it. So I guess wait and see. Wait and see what's happening with Unity. That looks like it's going to change. Oh, it's a shame there won't be a sequel. It's a pretty fun game. But then I don't know what you'd add with a sequel that like mods haven't already added, to be honest. Diamond Boots resubs. Thank you, Diamond Boots. And they say, Ben, is there some sort of field medic in this game? And if not, hand me a sharp stick and point me at him. I'll take one or two of them down with me. Oh, I don't think there is a medic. I mean, we've got the bandages. I guess that's as close as you can get. Uh, but you're on the list. We'll see if we can get you in. Thank you very much. Uh, all right, Lewis is a pikeman. He's already got the damage skills. Just give them the standard, standard damage perks. And then Thor leveled up. Um, so he got quick draw and fast adaptation. He might have to become a backline guy now that he's got 30% less hit points. And he's slower. I think we turn him into a pikeman. Getting respect, thought. That's uh, bad, Pike. Cool. Diddy David's healed up nicely. Let me swap out Lewis. Have more shots. Um. Okay, it looks like everyone's a bit dinged up. Don't know if we really want to fight these beasts. See what they are. Ooh, yikes. We do not want to fight 13 Nachtjägers. Uh, not while all of our armor is completely fucked. I think four extra militia guys isn't going to help with that. <laughs> um, see you later. It's going to take the long way around. Yeah, I do have penalties for fighting things that aren't undead as well. Yeah, everyone's got daggers. So if we spot good armor, we'll just stab everyone to bits. Thank you, Mahons, for resubscribing. It's very cool. Actually, we've only got two more... Um, Two more bounties. It's probably not even worth getting into another fight at this point. Uh, sell that wizard's hat, I think. Even though that's cool. Let me sell that ring. Uh, oh, we did get two extra heater shields up, but they're decayed. Hmm. Um... Any old crap. Got it 
feels weird to have too many arming swords. In the early game, they're so good and rare. Okay, that's a good profit. Um, definitely gonna need some more tools, some more bandages. And some grain, sure. Take the boat back to Albert. And I think we get paid, right? Take that money. Easy. Uh, right, how are we doing now? Have we gained some rep with them? We're now open. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. I mean, we get better prices, more missions, anything like that. Not really sure how the rep system works. All right, we're just patrolling around because we're so dinged up. I don't really want to get into a fight just yet. Um, mm. uh, Krupp Kinkel Jury and Righto, bedtime. So, final attempt of you. Oh, Tom been to the office yet? Really curious. So the print quality is. Yes! Crew Kink, we did. I got it today. Thank you so much. Look at this. Crew Kink Algerian has sent in just the best thing ever. Uh, Tom and I have got our very own Kremlo tapestries? Banners? if you want to call them. Look at this glorious boy. He came from space. Thank you, dude. It's such a fun, cool present. Very excited. I'm going to try and hang it up in here. I don't know if I've got enough room. Might have to like, go up on like, behind the cabinets or something. I don't really have much wall space in here. Isn't it amazing? Thank you, Crook Kick. Very cool. I love it. I love it a lot find somewhere for it, I'm sure. It's very cool. Where did I get to? I think I missed some people. Uh... Lem? Lem subscribed? Thank you. Uh, you're painting up a Star Wars Legion Ewok army. Super pleased with how Chewie came out. Thanks for all the entertainment. Chump me up. Blech. Thank you, Lem. Enjoy, yeah, man. He works cool models. Have fun. Um, oh, and, and Durin did also donate, which I didn't get around to reading yet. But thank you again. We did go to the office, and it's amazing. Thank you so much. I love it. And, uh, Yarl Lewis donates again and says, "My liege, humble request to return to the front lines with a sword and board, if that's possible." And for my place on the wheel to go to Samiko Smiali. Okay, I will try and remember that. Um, you, I think you're in the bench at the moment. You are. You're level four though, which is pretty cool. Um, what skills? You're very killy. We can sword and board you. Uh, do we have any better armor? The ninety. Some 95. Is that already what you're, yeah, it's already what you're wearing. Okay. Uh, you can certainly go on the front lines. Give you a kite shield. And what's your weapon of choice? Uh, do you want a flail? Do you want a mace? Do you want a pick? Do you want an arming sword? Can't really go wrong with an arming sword. Biggest sword we have. That's the one. Uh, okay, we can swap out Anklagon. Pop you on there. there you go. You got it. Thank you for the donation. Uh, Twisted Tide, thank you for donating as well. 
can I get my name on the chumps list? You can. We just very surprisingly haven't been able to hire many people today. We've been incredibly lucky. Very few deaths. Um, I'd love to be shouted at for things I didn't do. It makes me nostalgic for old jobs. <laughs> I'll see what I can do, Twisted Tide. Thank you so much. Um, Southern Crisis also donated and says, Here's some bucks I got from that kid. So if you hire any jugglers, jesters, jokers, or jeering rascals, I would gladly continue my scamming ways. Thank you, Southern Crisis. We haven't been able to hire any, but I'm sure we will soon. Um, not Angus Book 6, thank you for subbing. Off work right now because of mental health. But on the plus side, I get to watch the whole stream. Ah, oh, Angus, I hope you feel better soon. Look after yourself. You'll be all right. Uh, I think we've read everyone now. Yeah. There is another mission available. Uh, kill more greenskins. I can kill greenskins. Doesn't seem like as many now. Tiefenhaven. Uh, okay. How much time do we need to repair? 24 hours. Oh, great. Okay. We'll be fine. Brigands. Nah. Not my problem, mate. I ain't paid enough to fight brigands. I'm off to fight orcs. Oh, I do have penalties against non-undead. Oh my god, you're right. It's gonna make it harder. Oof. Well, because they're only paying 1500 bucks. That makes me think it's not many orcs, you know? I reckon. I could be alright. I hope. Q4 Berserkers. How about other penalties? It's only minus 5 to hit. Um, I don't see any orcs. Uh, last time we did have help. But last time we got, like, double the money. Uh, well... Where are they? Where are all these orcs you've been bragging about? Faith is our shield. Hmm. Um. Okay, there's a trail by the farmstead. Faith is our seed. Let's see a trail. Oh God, am I just going to lose all my money and food walking around in circles? Fuck's sake. <gasps> Shit. Okay, this came out of our darkness. Um... Okay, naked. Naked's good. We like naked orcs. Both young. As long as there's no grown-ups here, we'll be alright. Young again. We can't even shoot them. daddies. We got three daddies, people. Watch out. Um, I 
we can run, but we're not going to, because it's what cowards do. Uh, right, I'm a bit worried about the two longsword guys fighting a pair of grown-up daddy orcs. That's bad. Send in Lewis to fight this one. <laughs> Just no damage at all. Fucking hell. Um, okay, if we stop them charging, though, that's a good thing. Tuna can can hold the line. Uh... Sven can go first. He might be able to skewer the line of them. Which would be pretty good. are the worst. Um, Alright. Slaughter the naked younglings. Then we go for the big lads. That's that's our policy now, apparently. Can we stun that one? Nope. Uh, number of them here. Oh, the stuns! The stuns! the doggo. We're clearly cursed. Oh no! Tuna can. Please. Oh god. Is this is where we lose our main guy. The hero. Okay, Benny's knocked out the shield in the south. It's a good start. Sven is going to impale. Not bad. Guys, you've got to hit. Can't be fucking around not hitting these guys. Uh, getting good hits in. But it still feels fucking horrendous. What? what the hell is that? Feels like feels like an illegal maneuver. That's what that feels like. No! Oh no. Tunicans lost his shield. Oh Tunicans down. He lasted two rounds of combat. Holy shit. Um He gets back up again. He gets crossed. God, orcs are insanely tough. Oof. 
Oh, rip business goose. He was one of the good ones. Oh my god. Oh my god, this feels so bad. We just have three guys wailing on this one orc the whole time. This is where we get all the new guys. Ah, oh, big boy down. Oof. Now our guys are tired and wounded. Probably gonna lose a couple more before we get through this. Oh no, Rufus lost his shield. Hey. Oh, little goblins. Uh Die! Oh god, so Sven has killed two daddies. He's a killer. Oh no, no, no! We've lost the mask. I don't know if that means we're free of its curse or we've lost its power. It feels important either way. How do we carry on without the mask? That's like the thing, that's not been our thing. My god, these these orcs are so tough. Oh, <gasps> he got away! No, no, don't bleed out, Benny! Benny, no! Okay, if we can win combat this round... Um, Benny will live. We can save Benny. Um... Come on. Oh! We saved Benny. But at a price. Jeez. Tuna can just went down like a sack of shit. He's like our best guy. And Business Goose. Who I like just because of his name. He's in 28 battles and had 19 kills. Well, Tunicam was in 36 battles and had 34 kills. Oof. Man. No, you only get to keep their armor if they got their head chopped off. The armor would have got smashed a bit. Oof. He's just normally so tanky, I am surprised how quickly they chewed through him. You got Tuna Kenton's helmet. Oof, got just no loot at all either. We lost more than we gained there, really. Rip. Man, I'm really sad we lost the spooky mask, too. That was, that was a bad beat. Whew. Let's get a boat. Better than walking. Is the mask fine? Oh, you're right. Needs needs to be repaired, but it's it's not dead. Well, we can have reserves. Mm. Well, worth hiring. 
An apprentice? I'll hire an apprentice. What's your deal? There's no deal. Uh, he's, he's just not, not great. Sort him out in a sec. We need a couple more reserves, really. All right, let's get the boat back. Finish that quest. Uh, take a day labourer. Sure. What's your deal, sir? You have no deal either. No perks, no good skills. Just a, just a boy. Sure. Let's sell some of this crap. Uh, probably don't need that many maces. As many broken axes. Okay, uh, definitely need tools, food. Okay, take 500 bucks to travel two days northeast. <sighs> Why not? No, actually, no, I won't do that. I'm gonna go looking for trouble. Because it's gonna take us 40 hours to repair all our kit. So we may as well spend that time. Lose a bundle of throwing axes. Whoops. Latrine duty for a month. Get out of my sight. There you go, losing my axes. That shit ain't cheap. Yeah, if we're going to take two days to repair everything, we may as well look around for some undead places. It's literally the only thing we're good at right now. Thank you, uh, Mawa, for using your Prime. Appreciate that. Thank you, Annoyed Spongy, for using your Prime too. It's just like free money. I love it. Thank you. If anyone else has got Twitch Prime and isn't using it, I'd appreciate that. Supports the stream, keeps me going. Finding much out here. But at least we got everything repaired. Aha! The Coven of Midnight. That looks pretty creepy. Necro Savants. And Ancient Auxiliaries. That doesn't actually seem too tough. I reckon we wait till morning get in there. Do they take like, is it like D&D &D where they take extra damage from blunt, blunt weapons? What are Necro Savants? What kind of bad guys are we talking about? They teleport? Ugh. I like the sound of that. What's a good way to beat them? Good. Okay. Good. Good advice. 
All right, we're going clubbing. Club for you. I think Rufus who has flail Great mastery, though, so you'll stay with that. So we've got three clubs. Who's going to get Tuna's hat? Oh, I should have put it on because we didn't actually get it repaired. So it's not worth using it until we fixed it. Yeah, someone does need Tuna's hat. So Sven. We've got to give you Sword Mastery, haven't we? Uh, Diddy David's back in the house. He's got Quick Swap. Uh, Backstab. Infidel Tech. Let's give you... Fast Adaptation. Okay, let's do it. Wish me luck. Thank you, Larkin, for the bits. Ben, have I gotten and died yet? I'd be very disappointed if not. No, we haven't really been able to put anyone new in yet. But maybe after this battle we will. Probably get some new recruits right after this. God, there's 17 of the bastards. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. All right, I'm going to hold... So let's see what these Necro Savants are all about. Hold the line, boys. Hopefully everyone's still feeling real good after the, uh, the succubus incident. Keep that in your minds while you fight spooky, scary skeletons. I skipped your sub, box agent. Oh, there it is. Sorry, yeah, that just came in. Sometimes my log is slow. But thank you, Box Agent, for using your Prime. And you say, uh, enjoy my Prime, Ben. I hope it helps your Warhammer addiction. Ooh, if by help you mean feeds, then yes, I'm sure it will. Thank you very much. Okay, that's a lot of, a lot of skeletons. Uh... Great start. Hey, we finally got a hit. Probably just wait for it. Hold, hold. Hey, there's one down. targets now they've all got shields. Hmm. Okay, the shield walls have joined. Let's see who can push the hardest. Ah! They're flanking, that's cheating. cheat so much. <gasps> Here they are. Oh, you weren't joking about the teleporting. Yikes. Spooky boys. They waited until all our shooting was tied up. Clever girls. Alright, hold the line boys. Hold. Okay, but the auxiliaries get smashed pretty easily. Oh, what? They can teleport and attack in the same turn? What? What? 
They can just kill a fully armoured man in one go? Oh my god, these guys suck. Jeez. What are you meant to do against them? Oh, they're not too tough at least. If you can hit them. Dude, David's fucked though, isn't it? Quickly, they chewed through my guys. This is insane. Ah, oh, Sir Sven. He just killed three skeletons in one go. What a boy. A couple more of those, and we'll be fine. I believe this is a company wipe. God. I hope not. Fucking hope not. Oh, come on. you got to hit these damn things. Oh, come on. Go away. God! They're so strong! Hmm. I'll rip the back line. Fucking hell. What? He was already near death. He should be dead. Okay, well now we know. Now we know what vampires are like in this game. Fucking horrible. Why do they always live on one health? The auxiliaries are not a problem at all. But yikes, the vampires. Faith is our shield. Oh yeah. I mean, get your get your chumps in now. We'll be getting plenty of them soon. God, and they go first. Oh, oh my god! Guys, stop dying, you cowards! Do they have a th Oh, they have nine lives! So every time you kill them, there's basically like a 50-50 chance that they just don't die. These things are brutal. Faith is our shield. Oh my god. Do prime subs count as it? No, any, any subs as counts. Uh, they're all good. Faith is our shield. Can't even hit these guys. Oh my God, this literally could be a wipe. Oh my God. I just can't get over how incredibly hard they are to kill. And the fact they could just teleport behind you and kill you in one hit. It's horrible. Oof. Yeah, they have the headhunter perk, so they seem to just hit your head half the time. Nothing personal, kid, indeed. Hmm. Oh, guys, you've got you've got to hit them. 
I don't know how else I could say this. Please. <laughs> oh no. Sven, you've missed like four swings in a row. You, you can't keep doing this. What are you doing to me, dude? Oh. No, Sven. Oh, another beheading. I feel like half my guys have been beheaded. I mean, it's meant to be 87% chance to hit. I can't believe how many misses we've had. It's crazy. How come we're only getting 35 to hit with this guy? It's This looks like Great, you know, you're near the end now. Oof. Oh no, Rufus. Rufus, please. They always live on one health. Every fucking time. Rufus the Hairy is bald. <gasps> He's been keeping that a secret, hasn't he? <laughs> oh. This is why I have trust issues. Wow. Just ripped to shreds by teleporting vampires who refute another guy down to one health. God, nine lives and headhunter. What a combo. The one retry is being used here. There isn't a retry. That's not a thing. We're playing Iron Man. There are no retries in Iron Man. You live or you die. They also have lifesteal. Wow. Just kill something, Lockvik. Please. Oh my god. It's a total party wipe. We were doing pretty well, I felt, until that happened. God, if they didn't have nine lives, I think we could have genuinely won that. Like, we killed like three of them really early on, but they just didn't die instead. Whew. Yeah, maybe I would have been better off taking um, more shields. Like, I could have put, given everyone a shield instead of having a back line of pikes. That probably would have been more effective than when they teleport behind me. My back line's as strong as my front line. Probably the way to try and fight that. Oof. That's the curse of the mask. Exactly. They broke the mask, and so we became cursed. It was probably too soon to fight them. I had no idea that they were that strong. We'd beaten a lot of really strong... We'd gone for like five battles in a row without losing anyone. And killed like some pretty tough stuff. Didn't realise they were that powerful. If you alt F4, you can retry. 
I don't I don't see how we can without re-equipping I don't see how we fight that right, what could what could we do differently to not get murdered there we can give it a go Got a little bit of time we'll give it one retry um, and if that doesn't work that's the end I want to see if um, if it's possible. Well, anyway, I missed this while we were while I was getting massacred. Um, Astrams used their prime. Thank you very much. And um, Anon Giles gave out five gift subs, which is super kind. Thank you very much. It's a vision from Zeech. Uh. Oh wow, we don't even have to attack. I thought it saved the moment the battle started. Huh. Okay, cool. Right. So let's completely ditch all the ranged weapons. They're not going to be any good. Get rid of all the pikes. I guess we have to get rid of the axe as well. I fucking love the long axe, but I'm probably not worth it. <sighs> yeah, Benny is axe expert, but it means he can't have a shield. Although we don't actually have enough shields for everyone, I don't think. Uh, we do, actually. Uh, what is the best hand weapon for killing those guys? Would spear wall be good? Do I get to use spear wall when they teleport, and does it cancel their teleport? Is the question. No. Netting them helps. Okay, we could throw some nets. Give that a go. Anyone with quick, quick switch? Who has it? Thor can have a net. Infidel Tech can have a net. What can have a net? Definitely aren't going to need the daggers. May as well just get rid of them. Um, Should we take the bleed swords? Scamaraxes. They don't have a lot of armor. Doing bleed damage. They don't bleed. Okay. Good to know. Um can can you stun them? We could go more clubs. Okay. 
Okay, one guy doesn't have a shield. Must have sold more than I thought. Okay. Quick hands doesn't work with shields. Oh. Alright. Oh well. Let's try it out. Um there's no hills. I guess we need to spread out a bit. Can you throw a net when someone's already next to you? Does that even work? Really getting in. All right, spinning chop. Ah, oh, got one. Take that. But they really hate Sir Sven, don't they? Oh no. While netted, still kills my most heavily armoured guy in one attack. The nets are useless, they do nothing! Two attacks. Yeah, but the first one missed. Um, fuck me. Stun him. He's stunned! Netted. And chop. Guys, you've got to get some hits in. What is this? Um. 
Yeah, their swords seem very powerful. I would love to get a hold of one. Of course they have a higher initiative than me. Why wouldn't they? The stuns might be paying off. This fucking guy. Nine lives strikes again. What does being netted even do? It certainly doesn't stop them from killing me. Oh, Sven, I love you. got bloody um, got a bad foot not, not the guy you want running around trying to throw nets oh well, oh, well rip diddy David Thing. Oh, wow. God. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure these nets are worth it. It's a really minor inconvenience for them, and it means I can't have a shield and uses up a lot of my fatigue and action points. <sighs> Nine lives. It's, it's definitely... I mean, the fact they do insane damage is huge in teleport, but this is the nine lives that really feels bad, man. I wouldn't mind losing guys fighting them if I could actually also get some damage in on them. Extra shield to help him, but it doesn't seem like enough. Hey. Now, my front line isn't actually any better at melee than my back line. They've all got the same melee skill. Definitely going better than last time, but I think it's still going to be a wipe. Just can't get the get the kills on these things, and then they heal up again when they kill my guys. I just can't can't fucking hit them. Found, found the run enders. That's for sure.
Even just one or two of these would be a huge problem. I mean, anything that heals on damage is a um, is a real like circling the drain mechanic. If you start losing to something like that, you can never pull it back because the worse you do causes a feedback loop. So you do worse because you're doing worse. And now my guys are tired. seem to be too focused on bringing their HP down rather than killing one a turn with two guys. The problem is all my guys are in combat so they can't move. So I can only attack the guys I'm next to. I'm focusing my damage on the injured ones. But I can't get everyone to attack the same guy. I think we just ran into something that uh, we weren't ready for. Like we were doing better with the different loadout, but actually, I think we've ended up doing worse. I can't remember how many of them we killed last time. Yeah, I know my guy's fatigue is bad, but what do I do? Wear less armor? Die faster? If I wear less armor, They'll be dead before they get tired. The nets were shit. Because they just kill me anyway, even while they're netted. We had ma Everyone had maces. We stunned them once in the first round, and then we missed every stun after that. I don't think the vamps will attack until the skellies are in. I think backing off won't help. Pikes are definitely a bad idea. Yeah, the damage of the pole arms was higher, but they died faster. Four decapitations, including both the uh, the great swords. Oof. Corner camping seems like bullshit. I'm not sure I want to try and cheese them with the, my own flavour of bullshit. <laughs> Alter four out. I have to decide whether we're going to accept the uh, the death or not. Hmm. Yeah, we would get tired running into the corner. That's true. Hmm. Use the trees. I think it would be better for them than for me, to be honest. Because they can teleport, so they'll always just find the spot where they can attack. And then a bunch of my guys won't be able to attack them because the trees are in the way. Yeah, pikes in the middle might work. Because you get a four... Problem is, you'd need shields on the outside of the middle as well. So you might only be able to fit two or three pikes in. Yeah, yeah, my guys were all armor and no dodge. I didn't level up melee defense at all. Hmm. 
Well, it's nearly 11 o'clock. So we're definitely going to have to end the stream there. Um, I think we're going to have to accept it. We, we, we're doing an Iron Man. Oh, we've still got our reserves. <laughs> Chesternaf takes all of our shit and runs off. <laughs> Amazing. You can, I didn't realise you could continue. I thought if you lost your whole squad, that was it. Um, but no, Chesternaf retires. He sells all the loot. Takes the eight grand plus probably another like two, three grand in stuff <laughs> and lives like a king. <laughs> oh, wow, lucky old Chester Naff. Should we find out what happens to him if we retire? <laughs> What what actually is his? Oh, let's see. What's his? Uh, what's his salary? Eight. He gets paid eight bucks a day. So, if he's got ten grand, uh, let's, let's do a maths. Ten thousand divided by eight. He's got enough for 1,250 days. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Four or five years? <laughs> he gets to start his own cult now. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, I like that. I prefer that ending. Where he just makes off like a bandit. Lives like a king. Seventy points. That doesn't seem like much. Uh, when you took over the questing company, it was a mere handful of men scrambling to survive. Now it's more akin to a boisterous business adventure. But staying the business of killing was never your goal in life. With enough money, you retired away and left the company in charge of Chesternaf the cultist, one of your most trusted men. <laughs> um, unfortunately, your successors didn't quite have the knack for keeping the men alive. Last you heard, they took contract after contract, forever seeking more and more crowns with no regard for their own safety. This aggressive pursuit of the coin eventually led to the company's destruction in a battle between noble houses. Despite the questing company's reputation, a noble baron had no problem using it as bait to draw out a much larger force. Thankfully, a few men did manage to retire just before this battle. Perhaps one of the sharpest men you've ever known, Burke the Apprentice, was the quickest learner in the questing company. With plenty of crowns stored, he retired from fighting to take his talents to the business world. Last you heard, he was doing very well for himself across multiple trades. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Everyone knows when they sign on, yourself included. You got lucky, others did not. That's just how it is. You plan to live out the rest of your days as well as you can. Not only for yourself, but for those who didn't make it. Amazing. So yeah, we could... Um, We could literally start a new cult that carries on the legacy. And play as like a full cult team. I don't really know what um, cultists playthrough it does. 
There we go. I've got four four guys in rags. Okay, who's the bravest? They can be Chesternaf. You are. That will make them the one with the actual actual hood. Here you go, Chesternaf. You're back. Uh Anongles? Anongils? Anon Giles. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Okay, you're in. Um, Strams, you're in. Johnny H is in too. Wow, it's not much of a team, is it? We've got one in rags with a with a bleed sword, one in decent armor with a two-handed flail, a naked man with a whip, and a guy with a stick. Hmm. There we go. They run off with their money, start a brand new cult, and a whole new adventure. Um, I think we're going to leave it there, though, because I've been streaming for a while. Uh, and we're going to do a raid. Who is streaming today? Thanks to everyone who came. I hope you've had fun. That was oh, a bit of a sudden lose part. It was pretty Bouncing cool. between maths, physics, computer science. Uh, what is going on? Pflex is playing uh, playing Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, let's go do that. Go check out Pflex's Call of Cthulhu roleplay. Why not? Um, extra thank you, obviously, to everyone who's uh, supported with a with a sub or a donation. I very much appreciate that. And um, we're back next week. We might do more Battle Brothers. We might do something else. I'll see how I feel. Might need a break. That was a bit of a bit of a gut punch. That one. Uh, but it'll be something cool, something fun, as always. Yeah. Um, if you've got like a game recommendation. Or something you want to see me play, let me know. Send me a tweet or a, or a Reddit or a comment on the VOD. I'll, uh, I'll read through. And we'll try something cool in the future. Cool. Well, nice one. Thank you all. And I will see you next time. Bye!